Well, kids, after three hours, they get here and uh, it's super windy. I'm worried about the tripod falling over. And uh, I don't think we're gonna have light tonight. But I'm here, so we might as well try to shoot something. If I don't get the mountain that's directly in front of me, maybe this way there'll be a shot as the light starts to change for sunset. Um, but this wind is gonna wreak havoc today, so stick around. Well, as you can see, we're getting some cross light on that mountain behind us. So let's, uh, I've got my tripod set up here. Let me switch you around. So there's my tripod. I found, let me put my bag down. I found these rocks here that I'm gonna use for the foreground subject. And there's the mountain in the background. So let's see what we can do. I'm gonna have to move pretty fast here because the light keeps changing on me. So uh, bear with me. The wind has actually died down a little bit. So let's get this on live view so I can see what I'm doing. I do have a polarizer on. And uh, let's just get this set up. So here's our composition. Got the rock in the bottom third of the frame. Mountain in the background, some nice diagonal light across that mountain. Cable release is there, let's pop the shot. having one of those days. So I got set up over there and the wind blew this tripod with this camera over and it was about two inches away from going in the water. So I decided to find a new location. And as I move, look at this. Now look at the light. By this little bridge on the far right, there's a little stream. So I'm gonna go up behind by that trapper's cabin right there and see if I can't use that stream as a leading line. So uh, bear with me here. So that's my view now. And I think I'm losing light. <laughs> Wouldn't you know it, but I'm gonna to try to set up, hopefully get some last dying sunlight before it goes behind the mountain. We're still a good hour and 20 minutes away from actual sunset, but in the mountains, it's a lot earlier. We are getting some, uh, some side light now. If I, don't, if I don't go fast enough, I'm gonna miss it. So um, bear with me here. Hi camera. There's that wind again. It wreaked havoc on me earlier and now it's wreaking havoc on me again. So it's open, lens cap is off, turn it on and figure out my composition here. Okay, the light is getting a little better now. We're getting some nice cross light on the, uh, on the mountain right now. We're gonna pop the shot and I'll show you what we got. Here is live view. So we've got the stream leading to the bridge, leading to the mountain. I'm gonna underexpose this a little bit. I'm gonna go 1 20th of a second, F8, ISOs 100. And we'll just pop it. It's actually kind of nice. As the sun sets, we'll get just more of a, a traditional alpine glow here. I was just shooting some B-roll and saw these purple flowers. That's not a bad foreground subject, so let's get reset. Now I'm trying to go fast because our light is, uh, is dissipating really quickly, so 
normally I'd extend these legs, or normally I would shrink these legs, do all that fun stuff, but not today. Today we're going quick. So we're gonna expose for the flowers in the foreground. Focus in on that and pop it. And then I'm going to expose for the mountain in the background. Make sure my histogram is on. And then I'm gonna pop it. And I'll combine those. So I decided to walk around. That's what you have to do is just find a good composition. That's what you've got to do is just walk around until you find a composition that works for you. I had no idea this little area existed here behind this, this lodge and the, and the main um, souvenir shop for Bow Lake. But I did, and I really like this composition. I really like the shot, actually. Um, it's not a perfect sunset shot. It's more like a postcardy shot. Uh, it's not a portfolio shot, but it's still a great shot. It might be a calendar shot. I've been away for a while. Life happens sometimes, but I'm back, hopefully, more regularly. Uh, in the meantime and in between time, stay healthy, stay safe. I'll catch you next time, guys. And as always, guys, please rock the subscribe button and ring the bells for notifications. We'll check you next time.